Look at this, guys. Look at this. Buffalo. Many of them won't be. Hey, yeah. A bunch of them. If they're angry, you don't want to be in front of those guys. And even though they look like cows, they can be so dangerous. Hey, guys. They're the first in the big seven. The buffalo. Woo! Hasta la vista, baby. These are hand-raised buffalo, so they're very tame. They've been hand-raised by the rangers, by Trafford and his team. These buffaloes, we got them at the water hole. They were abandoned by their mother. We brought them in and we fed them here in the camp. We are going to dart them, put them in a crate, and transport them to the other side of the park where they're going to be released. These are the darts that we put them in. We put a mixture of drugs in there. For how long does the animal fall asleep? This is enough to keep it sleeping for at least an hour. I don't want you to touch where the dart goes in. Just from a safety point of view, sometimes there's a little bit of bleeding there, and that blood can have some of the drugs in it still. So you put it, get it on your hands, you forget about it, you eat something, and you can take in that drug. And afterwards, make sure you wash your hands. Okay, they're still wild animals, even if they've been hand raised. When they get bigger, they can actually become very dangerous because they haven't got a fear for people. So that's why we want to try to get them out of this little camp now, away from people and with the herd of buffalo. Hopefully we're not going to dart the horse. Yeah. Hopefully they don't run off into the bush and we have to carry them out. Hey, wait. Reggie, come. What I'm doing is just try to get them out of that bush there. The bucket. Oh. Yeah, come on. We can actually walk them into the crate if we can get them like a. Let's go with the next load out. Push from behind. Okay, close the door. Okay, well done, guys. Okay, so that worked quite well. We actually caught them before they were fully asleep and we managed to walk them in here instead of having to carry them in. Hopefully they'll be sleeping now. And we can put the collar on and I can do the treatments. Yeah, yeah they're both sleeping now. Where those blindfold? Now they are mobilized. I'm going to give them treatment for ticks and internal parasites and then we'll wake them up. Do you want to come in? Have you touched a buffalo before? Come. I was fire bang to take a buffalo seal to say us will come cake. Don't be scared. They fast asleep. Feel how soft he is. That was my first time I would take a buffalo gevoel it and say warrings gehoud. But the first time I was bang geweest. This one is most probably about 200 kilograms. The females, when they're bigger, they're about six, 700 kilograms. So they'll get three times the size. And the big bull can get up to 800, 900 kilograms. They really get big, big necks, big muscles. He wants to give an injection, yeah. What a minute. You see all the hair loss in that, that can also be mange. So this will help treat that as well. Into the muscle. So they've had their treatment. Now we must just put that collar on. Whatever you want to help Trifid. Can someone tighten it up? They're both breathing nicely. Very fast also. Yeah. We're gonna come out now. Just be careful of the blood here. Just step over. See, you're not scared of buffaloes anymore, eh? eh? They're gentle beasts. You want to come have a look at them waking up? Come stand here by the door. Here we go, standing up. Yeah, they're both standing nicely. They've got lots of grass to eat. One piece the container not too heavy for the truck. No, look, it's got a crane and it's going to lift the container up and then the truck's going to take them far away to another part of the park where they will be released into freedom and they're going to live normal lives there. Okay, okay, okay. It's the vet's responsibility, the safety of those animals. That's why Dr. Dave is checking everything himself. Bye-bye, Mr. Buffalo. As evening rolls in, the team decides to do one more thing. The leopard is very shy and very difficult to see, but we really wanted to see one. Trifid came up with a very wonderful idea with a camera trap. This camera trap, it even takes pictures at night as well. We put the camera in a safe place to take the leopard photo. If there is any motion coming from that side, this is where it's gonna get a picture for us. We'll be able to see if maybe we do also have a leopard in this section. Okay, guys, let's get going. 